Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about cross fox. A cross fox is a rare animal, but not because its species is endangered. It is a member of Volpes Volpes whose conservation status is least concern. What makes the cross fox rare is its coloration. It is a version of the common red fox that has more melanin than usual and that melanin takes the form of a black cross over the fox's body. Incredible cross fox facts. Here are four facts about the somewhat rare cross fox. Biologists used to think that the cross fox was a separate species from the red fox, but it's not. Its scientific name was Canis decasatus. There are several cross fox colors, and many have been deliberately created by fur traders. They include the silver cross fox, golden cross fox, the cross white mark fox, the pearl cross white mark fox, the pearl cross platinum and the amber cross fox. The height, length and weight of some of these designer foxes may differ from the red fox standard. Cross foxes come about when a regular red fox mates with a silver fox, which is itself a melanistic type of red fox. Biologists believe that as much as 30% of Canada's red foxes are cross foxes. Appearance The cross fox is the size and has the weight and height of a regular red fox, though European foxes and foxes that live in the desert may be a little bigger. The cross fox has a shoulder height of about 14 to 20 inches and weighs from 5 to as much as 31 pounds. It has a pointed muzzle, pointed ears, a lovely, thick pelt, and a bushy tail tipped with white. This white-tipped tail is how biologists tell red foxes, even melanistic ones, from other species of fox. On top of all this, the cross fox has a band of black fur down its back and a band of black fur across its shoulders, creating the diagnostic cross. There are five claws on each front foot and four claws on each back foot. They also have dew claws. Cross fox versus red fox The difference between a cross fox and a red fox lies mainly in their colors. The cross fox has the black cross on its back that gives it its name. The animal may also have a black or silvery mask, and its tail is a little bushier than that of a regular red fox. The red fox has mostly red fur on its upper body and white fur on its underside while the flanks and the sides of the cross fox's neck are reddish. Both foxes have black fur on their lower legs and the upper side of their ears and golden eyes. The cross fox has been bred and hunted for the fur trade, though its fur wasn't deemed as valuable as the fur of the silver fox, another melanistic type of the red fox. Behavior Unlike wolves and African wild dogs, foxes are solitary. They don't form packs and only live with other foxes during the breeding season and a mother lives with her kits for a few months after their birth. They do have territories that may overlap, and these territories hold the fox's burrows and dens. Foxes hold on to their territories for life, and some dens are used for generations. Foxes might raise their kits in larger dens, and these larger dens might have tunnels that lead to dens for caching food or resting. They may dig the burrows themselves or take them over if they belong to weaker animals such as rabbits. Some foxes live in abandoned outbuildings. These canines have as many as 28 types of vocalizations, and individual foxes can be identified by their voices. They can also communicate through their tails and facial expressions. Like other canines, they have anal sacs and use secretions from these and other glands in the pads of their feet, their lips, jaws, and the upper part of their tail to mark their territory. They also scent marks through their feces and urine. The fox's memory and senses are exceptionally keen, especially the senses of smell, vision, and touch. Reproduction and life cycle The breeding season for cross foxes depends on where they live. Since many cross foxes live in the north, they most likely breed from February to April. They are at least socially monogamous at this time, for the female, or vixen may mate with several males but will only pair up with one. During this time the vixen makes a sound that some people describe as the sound of a woman being murdered. This is called the vixen scream, and is not a cause for alarm. The male may mate with other females, though he's dedicated to one vixen and her kits, even if not all of them are his.